Yo, what's going on, homies? It's your boy, Stumped, back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're taking the new Gear 5 Film Red Strength Luffy into some PvP, taking on some of the challenge fights, and showcasing what this absolute monster can do in Pirate Rumble. With the release of this new character, Strength Units and the Strength Team just got an absolute monster buff. On top of that, you can do some really wonky stuff with Strength Powerhouse, now that Luffy is actually a powerhouse character. It's very weird to say that because normally Luffy's are free spirit units, but this one is a fighter and a powerhouse unit, and that means you can bring out the likes of Ulti, Who's Who, you can bring back Kaido and make Kaido relevant. Jack works exceptionally well because he's a fighter as well, and then you can use some other characters like Sanji and Arlong and stuff like that in the front, rather than using that sort of strength slasher build. But what does Luffy do in Rumble? Now, if you guys can check it out, I have done a grand party showcase on this guy already. Um, should be up on the channel as I'm recording this video. Um, but this guy does so much damn damage. Like, watch this special in action. If you guys just got a 150, man, it's it's so scary to see what that special could potentially do. But he gives level 6 attack, defense, and speed strength characters. And when HP is below 60%, he applies a level 5 attack and sh shield buff to himself. So you kind of want him to take damage. Ideally, you want to put him, like, where who's who is. Um, I have him in the front just so it just like, looks nice for the video. But ideally, you'd want to swap... Who's Who and uh, Luffy around. He's Rumble special on a 35 second cooldown. Yeah, 35 seconds. It is a whopping 35 seconds too. It feels like forever to get his special. It takes so long to charge. However, when you get it to charge, it does so much goddamn damage. After the 35 seconds, you get access to six shots. So Luffy will give himself level five attack up for 30 seconds well gives it just all strength characters in them as a matter of fact he then deals 1.5 times his attack in damage that will ignore defense two times uh, to two enemies three times so he basically hits six times provided the enemy survives that long and this damage is insane on top of that when hp is below 60 percent he deals another 3.5 times attack in a large radial range so he can then not only basically go through defense but he can just like pick off the scraps of what's left if he doesn't actually kill everything that's in front of him, which is absolutely wild to think about. It's kind of insane how much damage this actually is. And Luffy can just absolutely bink out teams that either have high defense, um, crazy ass units. And if you actually get him to go off just like this, like you can do some nuts things. Even against like the, the Dex Pell challenge, this fight is actually so damn frustrating because the enemy has so much HP, they have so much defense, they're so tanky, they action blind, and it's just all, all very, very annoying. Um, you, you just still absolutely punish them with what, what your special is actually doing. I had brought uh, Kaku and Toki into this particular team. Bringing Kaku in is actually amazing. Kaku, in my opinion, works just better on the, uh, the, the slasher variation. Same with Toki, really. And really, these characters only work when you are going up against um, uh, dex-based teams. However... Like, when you know you're coming up against them and you can throw these units in, it just works exceptionally well. Kaku, though, Kaku is actually a, um, what's it called? He, he's, a, he's a powerhouse as well. So, finding a spot for him on the team with who's who and stuff like that is actually very, very cool as well. In Grand Party, though, this guy honestly didn't really hit the mark for me. He gives level 3 CT speed up to strength characters. They definitely need it, especially Luffy. He gives level 6 speed and attack to strength, HP, level 5 and blow away to fighter and powerhouse characters, and then level 4 defense buff to fighter powerhouse characters as well. After the cruise, the 6 specials, you get access to his special, which does 5,000 fixed damage to 3 enemies with the highest CT, and then he deals 4 times his attack to all enemies within the first 60 seconds. If you're in the last, uh, sorry, after the first 60, 60 seconds, he then removes 60% of the C special CT to all enemies. So you can sort of like basically nerf or like hinder your opposition with this ability if it is in the last 60 seconds so there is that but i found that this wasn't super effective when used in grand party especially with like the other gear five running around and what shanks can do this guy kind of felt didn't really hit the mark all in all this luffy is actually ridiculously strong he does so much damage he has an amazing passive and he makes the strength team just so much better he brings so much to what the strength team is actually trying to provide. So you can now run so many different variations of this particular build. Strength always struggled in having a lot of damage output, having a lot of sustainability, a lot of defense. It was always skewed awkwardly uh, in some direction that didn't balance the team in a way to make it real viable in the meta. Even against Dex, when Dex were running around like absolutely crazy, Strength just couldn't find a way to beat it. Now, 
that's not so much the case. Even now, you can use strength against Sai, you can use strength against Int. Back in the day, like you just you just couldn't. I have seen uh, screenshots of my Alliance members too, building out lots of other stuff with like Odin and Kdad and making weird slash hybrid teams and stuff like that. I kept this very sort of powerhousey centric. Centric. I brought um, X Drake into this team. Uh, he's another very good option to get cooldowns. You can do stuff with Vivi as well. I was using Vivi in Grand Party. The uh, Pir Pirate Festival Rare Recruit Sanji is another really good option. If you're looking for CD reducers, just so Luffy can just bink off that special. The downside to Luffy that I did find is that he does still struggle when you're going up against some of the big boppers. Gear 5, 6 plus, Roger Whitebeard, Tesoro, the quick driven team. Luffy still does struggle quite drastically. And whilst he does work really well on the, on the strength team, you could easily pull him out and chuck him on a very wonky glass canopy powerhouse team and just allow this particular special to go absolutely AWOL and just win you fights. However, if you don't have that CT speed and Luffy does die for getting to that point, it can be a little bit challenging. However, unlike Kaido, when you do get below 50% HP, he puts up a shield. He has a little bit more survivability, plus his attack stat does increase, where Kaido just kind of tends to melt. But it is nice to see that Kaido did make a bit of a resurgence, a bit of a mini showcase for the two of them on the same team. But if you enjoyed the video, belt the like button. If you new to the channel, hit the big red subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, whether you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.